Welcome to devices setup guys and if you have big house or office and your router is not able to provide signals to every corner of your location then setting up multiple Wi-Fi extenders is a cheap method to resolve Wi-Fi connectivity problems. Just in case if you have good budget then you can switch to Wi-Fi mesh systems as it is more reliable and cover your entire area with strong Wi-Fi. So to start with, make sure you have all Wi-Fi extenders with you in the same room as the router. Now, at the moment, we only need to plug just one extender and wait for around 120 seconds until its power LED gets stable. So first we will set up the first extender and we will set it up via browser method. Plus, I won't recommend you to set up the extender via WPS as we need to customize the SSID of the extender during the setup. So grab your phone or computer and go to the Wi-Fi list. There you will find your extender's default network name showing up. That is netgear underscore ext. So tap on this network and connect to it. Once connected, open a browser on the same device and into the URL, you will need to type mywifiext.net and hit enter. This will take you to the setup page of your extender. If it doesn't, then try 192.168.1.250 into the URL to access the setup page. On the login page, if it asks for username and password, then type admin. Next, it will ask you to create an account. Then select range extender as your mode that you want to set up. Next, select your router's 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz network and type their Wi Fi password. Now here comes the most important step. In this, we will have to customize our extender's SSID. So on the setup page, the extender network will come up with hyphen ext network after your home network name. So tap on that field and customize the name according to your choice. Like you can type your name and then hyphen ext or maybe type home 2.4 gigahertz hyphen ext and home 5 gigahertz hyphen ext or anything that you like. So this is the trick that you have to follow while setting up each Wi-Fi extender. We will customize their names and keep a different SSID for each Netgear extender. So after this, save settings and then once it is complete, then unplug the extender. Now we will set up the second extender in the similar manner. We will plug it into a power outlet and then connect to Netgear-EXT network then open a browser and type mywifiext.net or 192.168.1.250 into the address bar and then follow the on-screen instructions followed by selecting the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz network and typing their passwords. And finally on the following screen we will customize extender's network name to something different than what we have named the first extender. For example, you can do it like Office 2.4 GHz EXT and Office 5 GHz EXT. Now hit save settings and once done, unplug this extender too. Now if you want to set up more extenders, then you can follow the same procedure and rename its SSID too to something different. Next, once you are done setting up the extenders, then you can plug them all at different locations in your house or office. Make sure you place the router in the center of your house and then try placing the extender halfway between the router and the location where you need Wi-Fi connectivity. And later, you can connect your phone, computer or any other Wi-Fi devices manually to the closest Wi-Fi extender to you at that moment. So which will make sure you get stronger Wi-Fi connectivity. Finally, if you found the video useful, then please do like and subscribe to support my efforts and channel. Also, you guys can hire me for any technical issues related to routers, extenders, printers, or cameras, or any other Wi Fi devices. You will simply need to email me on fixallissues07 at gmail.com. Plus, please don't forget to mention your issue and I'll fix it for you on nominal charges. So, see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a blessed day.